and welcome to another episode of Check Out Basket. Today we are checking out a brand spanking new menu item which was released just yesterday. And what I'm talking about is the El Maco Burger from McDonald's. But it's not just the El Maco Burger. It's the El Maco Burger with jalapenos. So we've got two burgers today we're trying. These are of the beef variety. You can also get it in the uh, chicken and also the grilled chicken in both El Maco varieties. So the plain and the jalapeno. So today we are doing the beef. So let's have a look what a beef El Maco burger actually looks like. Okay, so it's not very photogenic. That looks like they slapped this one together as fast as they possibly could. That's supposed to be two nice patties stacked on top of each other. Um, so we'll actually rebuild this and get that looking better. So inside here we should have the sour cream. We have El Maco salsa, which is the sauce up the top. We've got some lettuce, a, a piece of tomato, which is a little bit on the not, not the nicest side. Um, put my lettuce that's leafing back there. We also have two big patties and one piece of cheese, which I'm just gonna get this back and line it back up properly. There we go. Now it's all on a quarter pounder bun. And I think these patties are the ones that go on the, uh, the Big Mac. All right, so that's that. Now it sort of looks a little bit better. We'll give it a bit of a side shot. Now, cut this one in half. And there's the side view. All right, now we've done that one. Time to get onto the El Maco with jalapenos. Now, it should be the same burger, just with jalapenos. Yes. Okay, so let's open this thing up. Oh, this one looks a little bit better. It looks like it's been stacked in there a little bit better than the other one. Okay, so I've got some lettuce that's leafing, so I'll tip that out, put that on the cutting board. Okay, so we've got lettuce that's leafed everywhere. That's okay. We don't mind a bit of lettuce. So underneath here, we should have, actually, we've got onions for both of us now. Underneath here, there we go. There's the jalapenos. There's not very many of them, although it's supposed to be quite a lot. So there's one, two, three jalapenos. Uh, with the lettuce, put that all back. Okay, reassemble. Underneath here we have one patty, piece of cheese, and another patty. All right, reassemble, and time to cut in half. Okay. And that's a side view of the El Maco. Now I've cut both of these in half, it's time for me to give half of these to my offsider who sits off camera who's gonna help you and me figure out, are these really good burgers? Or are they just trying to trick us into buy more stuff? It's taste test time. Okay, so you have two half burgers in front of you. Now- Oh gosh, the, that's the, one burger. The pictures for these are incredible. Yeah. They look amazing. I mean, they look taller than a normal Big Mac. What, the pictures you took or the pictures no, the they're pictures advertising? They're advertising is like supposed to be twice the size. Well, not twice the size, but the, al the, the one with the jalapenos is supposed to be really tall. Oh, I love jalapenos. Now, you've got one with and one without. Now, these are called the Beef okay. Al Maco Burgers from McDonald's. I think they're supposed to be a Mexican kind of a thing. They don't look anything like the picture. Okay. They're supposed to be lettuce and sour cream and salsa and jalapenos oozing at the top of the jalapeno one and the same as the other one but without jalapenos. I know it's an ongoing uh, joke but my lettuce is leafed. Yeah, there was not much lettuce for it to leaf. Um, now, the Albaco jalapenos, the crispy jalapenos, is $7.50. That's expensive. The other one, the one without, the plain, is $7.10. Can I ask what that reddish looking thing is in? It's supposed to be a tomato and they looked pretty terrible. Now this burger was released yesterday. They were made yesterday? I don't know. I couldn't see anything on their menu board advertising this. The only part I could see was actually in the app or on the menu 
you know, where you're selecting and ordering yourself. The actual big menu board above the uh, pickup area, nothing. Advertising this. All right, shall we um, go in for a try of the plain Al Maco burger? The yeah, beef. two patties in this. So there is two patties in this, separated by a vein of cheese. Now there's sour cream and salsa on the top. It's supposed to be lettuce and tomato as well. I think they look not much better than a cheeseburger. It's, been, it's like a squish cheeseburger. No. Okay, here we go. Oh, it tastes good. Taste of that salsa straight off. And I can taste the sour cream, which is nice. Nice change from a burger. The salsa's got a little bit of a, a little bit of heat, but not very much. Did you say that red thing in there was tomato? It's supposed to be tomato. <laughs> Here you go. Mm. So what do you think? Well, it's appearance and what it's supposed to be, and you said the price is exorbitant. Yeah. Seven dollars and ten cents for that uh, Al Maco burger. I I'm sorry. You've given me some really good stuff that I've enjoyed. Not enjoying greatly. Not really. It's just a snack. It's got a little bit of flavour there, but nothing to. Um, it's not a meal. No, it's. It, the picture says it should be. The picture looks excellent. Oh, well, I'll eat the picture. Well, I'll pop the picture up now, and you can see it doesn't look anything like that. Shall we go on to the jalapeno? Now, the jalapeno one only had three jalapenos on it. I don't know how many they're supposed to put on it, but from the picture, it's supposed to be quite a vein all the way across. Um, all right, let's go in for the jalapeno and see if it's any spicier. Now, you know I like my jalapeno. Oh yes, you went and pimped out a burger with everything you possibly could jalapeno. Well, I, I pimped and out a sriracha sauce. Right. Okay, let's go for it. In we go. Come on, you little jalapeno. Crispy. Crispy what? Jalapeno is the crispy part, the crunch. Um, it's a little bit of heat. I don't taste anything. Did you get all three jalapenos? No. You? I checked. You got one at least. Ah, oh, it's in the part I haven't eaten yet. The one fifth of it that I haven't eaten yet. I don't taste any jalapenos in this. The crunch was okay. I didn't get any crunch. It's a little crunch. That's it. That's all it is for the jalapeno. Not it. I wouldn't even say it's spicy. And I'm a spice, I don't like spice at all. Like, I, re, I, I, I turn away, I don't like it very much at all. And that's not spicy. That's not even a, that doesn't even feel like it's a jalapeno. Um, there's a tiniest little bit of warmth on the tongue. Yeah. Nothing like what I appreciate. The salsa is probably a little bit more spicier if you really put it side by side. Oh yeah, it's just got a bit of a crunch then over the final season. All right. Shall we give this thing a, uh, <laughs> a score? Not really. We have to. Have to give it a score. Okay, the plain Al Maco burger beef. Seven dollars and ten cents. Hey, first time ever. I'm not giving it a score. Zero. You're giving it a zero? A zero. Okay, look. I'm disappointed. It being a new burger out, I can taste all the things there. There's just not enough of the actual components to actually really give this thing a good score. So I'm giving it a, I'm giving it a two. Um, I'm taking, no actually, I'm giving it a one. It's okay. If I was hungry, I would eat it. I wouldn't go out of my way to go and buy this. Oh no. It's, the, the, there wasn't enough lettuce. The tomato was pitiful and also wilted. Oh yeah, this one's got tomato in it too. Um, the sour cream, there was enough, well, not quite enough sour cream, and there wasn't quite enough salsa to really have given this burger enough volume for $7.10. So that's a one from me and it's a zero from you. Okay, for the jalapeno yeah. oh. beef Al Maco burger. I've given a zero for both of them. You're zero for that? Okay, look. Zero, I'm very disappointed. You mentioned jalapeno. I got excited because I like jalapeno. And there's none. All right, for the jalapeno one, it's $7.50. So it's even more expensive to even get not even very much more. So we're um, not going away on holidays this year. No, we spent all that money on on our macos that don't uh, that don't perform. Um, so you've given it a zero. I'm going to give it a one as well. So that's a one out of ten for both. Just remember, if you've seen anything you like in these videos, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget any comments, questions, or maybe things you want us to try. Maybe you want us to try the chicken version of this 
to see if it actually is better than the beef. Tell us about it, tell us what you want us to try and leave it in the comments field below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and get notified when we do these. Check out basket episodes, my daily vlogs, cooking with great car maintenance, you name it, I film it, it ends up on YouTube, so hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you in the next video. Well, I'm always saying to you, you're always giving me things I like. Well, it's uh, going to come around. I'm terribly disappointed with these, both of them. Um, the, they look like squashed cheeseburgers. Maybe a double cheeseburger that's been squashed. Yeah. It's not a meal. They're small. They're skinny. And I really didn't get any excitement out of the jalapenos. FYI, today was also $2 McChicken Day. I'm going to be grateful that I've got this to eat later. Oh, oh, I get one of them too. Speaking of being grateful, today in North America is Thanksgiving. So, Thanksgiving, thanks to everybody in uh, all my North American uh, viewers. Have a great Thanksgiving. Spend it with your family and friends.